Okay, and we're back. Uh, let's go deliver this news about the Cal Bank robbery. And then... And then... Uh, I forget what I wanted to work on. I was looking at our missions. I gotta check how many levels I need yet. <laughs> or, not I levels. I up something you might be interested in. Really? Okay. Something you need? Yep, here you go. Okay. You can seed. Awesome. <laughs> Time to go? Yes. To these guys. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days. Spreading like a virus through the settled systems. I like to if you have a news story for me, you certainly get around. <laughs> I'm surprised that branch has any customers left the number of times it's been held up. But I thought the Rangers had finally managed to get a handle on it. I heard there was a standoff. That true? Yeah, there sure was. <laughs> I hear the robbers are provided free of charge. All part of the service. Yes, sir. What happened to the robbers? The Shaw Gang? That's a nice change of pace. Uh-huh. The Rangers got one right for once. They sure did. These things are often messy. Any customers or Gal Bank staff get hurt? No, that marshal was really good. That's really good news. Usually, well, it's a different kind of story. You were there. You were involved in resolving it. Any comment on the Freestar Rangers? Having another high-profile robbery in their own backyard is a bit of a black eye. <laughs> yeah. Huh. That's really good to know. Stories like this always fire up public outrage and appetite. Thanks for the interview. And take this. You sure betcha. Woohoo, we're rich. All right. Not too many experience points to go and we gain our next level. And we can get pain tolerance. Or lasers. Which one would be easier? Uh, which one was I going to work on? Uh, buy new stories. Okay. Uh, let's do that one. Yeah. I've got 235 grand, so we can do that one. Uh, M. Where are we going again? Oh, Paradiso. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for hostile life forms. In town? Okay. It may be paradise, but that doesn't mean we don't run it. Hope you're staying safe out there. Oh yeah. Hey buddy. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sukiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Mm -hmm. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Mm -hmm. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with <laughs> anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Sure, you bet. Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile. But any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. Mm-hmm. 
It is. Whatever's going on, we need to approach this with care. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If not, you may have to try boarding. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or whatever's on board. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him, and he'll have your pay. Good luck. You bet ya. Hello, Captain. On deck. Calculating and orbit stabilizing. Perfect. Oh, I don't like this part. Okay, close your ears. to work. Seals are tight, we're docked. Alright, let's go meet some mysterious aliens. Vasco, keep that weapon. Greetings, oh. Captain. Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> Remain calm. There's no reason to your human. I'm actually a weird scary monster. Wait, what are you? <laughs> oh, we're human. From the planet Earth in the Sol system. Oh, okay. It's just that we weren't expecting to find life, let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Imagine being cut off from humankind for that long. How terribly frightening that would be. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. Okay. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200 year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps mm -hmm. you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. <laughs> Oh yes, of course. Where are my manners? Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. De Costa, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will okay. follow you to the bridge. For security purposes. We were never I trained to address we threats to coming our guests, from outside but our ship. I'll allow it if you insist. Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. Mm -hmm. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios, climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. <laughs> Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed no Earth was there. destined to Bangs destined to be rendered uninhabitable, 
We've always assumed that's what happened. Yeah, that's so, what happened. He gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. Never seen a ship like yours before. Then again, I haven't seen any ships before you arrived. <laughs> Careful waving that fancy gun so, around. So, here we are. We don't need to see you. I have to say, with technology this outdated, I'm amazed yeah, this vessel is able to navigate at all. It's almost like walking through a museum. Are you kidding me? Shut up. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? Sure. Ah, so they have a name. Paradiso. And it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assume that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. Well, We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. And why would I do that? Percy just has been here for a long time. Excellent. Make no mistake, this is our planet, and we <laughs> intend for them to see this our way. Oh, it's so too bad I have a follower. So speak with their and see if you can negotiate a solution on our behalf. Preferably, get them to see things our way. Report back to me and let me know what they say. And we'll go from there. Uh-huh. Are you out of your mind? We thought about it, but it simply won't do. <laughs> I need to think about the distant future of our people. Sure, our first settlement may be small, but our predecessors dreamt of our new civilization spreading across the globe. Uh -huh. That would be difficult if someone else plans to do the same. While we're not completely close to the idea of sharing, it's much easier if we have complete domain over this world. Uh, you're not going to get it. I'm serious. We have a rightful claim to this land, and I intend mm. to fight for it. But okay. as you're currently our only hope, Perhaps you'll honor my request and give it your all, for the sake of some very weary travelers who have come a very long way to be here. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okie dokie. Got a Just feeling our equipment's old, you need to go lay claim to something else. Oh, what the hell, Paul? We've got Capped strict the wrong button. Wait a minute. I think. Cargo bay. Ah, I found it. The Constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change. Hmm. Oh, we'll get underway. This would be so easy if we didn't have a follower. <laughs> Plants release. We're free. They really are a snooty bunch. Well, that captain is. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, so are the people on Paradiso. They're just about as bad. Going somewhere? Oops. Crap. Oh, Paradiso is absolutely beautiful. Can you possibly imagine a more tranquil place for a resort? <laughs> We've got some of the best private security in the 
wonder how they get those pin in the butt flyers out of here. <laughs> I hope your stay here is going well. Oh, this is Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? No. Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. Okie dokie. Um, oh. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural Hello? beauty I of this I didn't realize place. Kiwi was letting Not people in. Oh, yes. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> sure, whatever, it's brilliant. Ah, we're being direct then. Good on mm -hmm. you. <laughs> so, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, no. tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. <laughs> anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. Well, even they don't want to do that. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain? Yeah, there's a captain. <laughs> They'd be hard pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that child as official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Oh, okay. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return, though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck! I know this was a difficult decision, but if it's any consolation, I think you've made the right choice. Okay. Compared to the destruction of their vessel and relegating them to a life of servitude, I'd say this is the best chance they've got. Yeah. Right. On Most behalf likely. of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your help. There you are millions that. of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely... <laughs> Is <laughs> so snooty. Hope Texan fellow? Really? Didn't realize that. 
So I ha oh, I haven't even been to Hope Town yet. Wow. Oops. Good to be back on board. Welcome to the Freestock Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. Yeah, scan away, buddy. You're good to go. All clear to land at Hope Town. Alrighty, let's land at Hope Town. Hopefully this gives us some good experience points, because <laughs> we're going to need it. Oh, I'm only 10% of the way to where I want to be. Captain, landing procedure initiated. out here uh uh that won't work oh really what is that Goes on the side. I go on the bottom. It does, but clear back there. Lander thrust one. Lander thrust four. Meh. Okay. Not what I'm looking for. I mean, yeah. I do like that gear for the back, but... I mean, Ron Hope's... Excuse me, excuse me! I remember meeting Ron Hope once. Idealistic. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hope certainly embodies the saying, spared no expense. Um... Ah. Um... Yeah? Oh. You walk the factory floor? It's... I don't want to hear any complaints. Um... Down song. Okay, let's see if we can pass. <laughs> oh, hello. Some sure. That sounds like me. What can I do for you? I'm a little busy, but uh, I think I could spare some time. Oh, you should have just said that. I did just say that. Of course, that. I can help you. Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. Uh huh. So grab drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But I've got access to an ancient grab drive that looks like it could be compatible. Uh huh. With some minor adjustments. It's in good shape, too. But okay. it's not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours. Uh, really? Only 40,000? Huh. It's a pretty big ask, given how rare these old grab drives are. Uh huh. <laughs> I keep telling myself I'm holding on to it for the right time. Uh -huh. Perhaps this is that right time. I hear you. Maybe we can work something out. Tell you what. 
Sounds like this is for a good cause. While I can't give you the part for free, I won't charge you for the work. Oh, okay, it comes down to 25. You're done, right it is. I'll get to work on it right away. You I sure about it? you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Pleasure working with you. You betcha. What are you doing holding on to a 200 year old grab drive though? That's the back. Wow, that is one hell of an industrial looking ship. How far do you plan on jumping this thing? One, two, three, we got, we got a five, on six, on the seven, eight, and then oh, these. What is it? We Holy cow, that is a lot of fuel tanks. Yeah, if that thing can't jump from one side of the universe to the other without ever stopping, something's wrong. Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. In mundane engines. Wow. But we'd be dust except for the factory. Wow. That's pretty cool looking. What else is there around Hopetown? I don't think I've explored this place. Is there missions here? Um. Oh. Off-worlders. Nothing ever good comes from them. Really? Kids just sitting Hello. there. Mr. Sud. Hello? You got a name. I like it here. Very few rules. People know how to look the other way. And mm. so many strangers coming and going all the time. A good place for business. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Discretion is a trait I highly value. I have a small package that needs delivery to Aquila City. I need someone discreet. Not too many questions. Sure, why not? The package is contraband. If the authorities find it, it will not be good. Uh -huh. If your ship has space for special cargo, then getting through security will be much easier. I can sure hope I can do like it. This? Sure, why not? Deliver the package to Tom Sterrett. Just drop it off. No discussion, no questions. We absolutely should not be doing oh, that without crap. knowing what's inside the container. Do not get caught. Goodbye. There's a tutorial on that? Wow. I have shielded cargo. I hope I'm as cool as someone. Sarah disliked that. Oh, crap. Okay, we're going to have to reload. And go through all that conversation crap again. Oh, you can't do anything fun. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's not bad. Okay, we don't have to do all that crap again. Okay. Alright, I'll just hold it off until I'm done with followers. Jeez. I'm so glad for autosaves as you go through doors. I knew there was one when I got to Paradir the uh, Hope Town, but oops. Okay. Oops. Oh boy. No. Can't have no fun at all. These followers are too goody goody. I like Vasco for that.
he don't care. I don't know, maybe he does. Captain, it is. Okay, through here. Just stay through up. here. I'm learning. Command A. We were never trained to address threats coming from Wait a minute. outside our ship. We're not going to the command bay, are we? Engineering, okay. People always appreciate a good engineer, whether they know it or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was hoping to talk to our visitor from outer space, and here you are! Welcome, welcome! I have a million burning questions, but I won't overwhelm you. There will be plenty of time for that later. Please, indulge me just a couple. Okay. How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster than light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? Yeah. Ah, I knew it. It's, it's incredible. I read about this technology in our archives from Earth, but it was only theoretical back then. Amazing. I'll have to learn more. Yeah, you just flip oh, a couple buttons. I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Chief Engineer Kazemi, but you can call me Amin. And, I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. You're the reason the ships broke down, you mean? Oh, haha. <laughs> yes, of course. Anything for my new friend. What grab drive? <laughs> Just joking with you. Mm -hmm. The Paradiso engineers filled me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Hmm. All right. This will be fun. And hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. Yeah. I have just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? You sure bet ya. Great, great, great. There are three preparations I need you to help me make while I set things up on my end. Uh-huh. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then, turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Let's hop to it! Let's hop to it! Okie dokie! Uh, I already forgot. Yep. Um. Oh. Reroute the power. Turn the plasma inhibitor. Decouple the magnetic plant. Okay. This takes me forever. Uh, wait a minute. Oh. Auxiliary power module. Can oh, I no! Maybe get out of the way! Why do they run right in front of you? Inhibitor? Are you kidding me?
5% from the turbo pump to uh, the crowd generator. Reroute from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Turbo pump crowd generate. No. Okay, now we need to turn the other one to 5%. I've spent my entire life in the constant. Where is the third you know computer? Must be that other one still. Mm. Plasma runoff inhibitor. Why did all my guidances disappear? Not in this one. Where is this plasma runoff inhibitor? Ah. Really? I always knew it couldn't be true. There had to be someone. Okay. Oh. Hey, weren't you just saying the week before we arrived? Cold and alone it felt out here, and how sad it was realizing we'd never see someone. I did all three. There's so much more to learn about now. And say that keeping a 200-year-old sheep running is no easy task. 
you sure that was me? <laughs> Good luck no. out there. That was definitely you. Okay, I had to have messed something up here. Okay, uh... I remember. Couple magnetic plants piping closer. Yeah, I'm glad I was wrong. module assembly. get it wow I've do you have to do these in a specific order I did everything Turbo pump, right? Okay. And then turn the plasma run up inhibitor to five percent. That was I this one. I wonder what one. else is out there. Plasma runoff inhibitor. If the other colonists knew how many times the constant and then decouple magnetic flange pipe from the okay. Almost came apart of. Okay, you had to do them in that order. Okay. Looks okay. like everything is good to go on both your end and mine. Where are you? Uh, uh can you go inform the captain while they're finishing the Oh. Okay. Uh. Huh. 
Oh, we are. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers. Hey, buddy. I not believe anyone would be out here. But, well, well, it would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. Mm -hmm. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've done. Ah, uh, no problem. It's better than putting you into slavery. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. But you went above and beyond. I'll make sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. I don't know if we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again. Ooh. <laughs> Antique baseball. A <laughs> piggy bank. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's figure out how to, to get back out of here. Anyway. Uh, it was this Space way. Is my life. Careful waving that fancy gun around. I'm not waving it around. It's holstered. I don't We've get it. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for this way. Now that we know there are other people out there, we need to be more aware. Uh huh. Just stay out of trouble. <laughs> okay, dokey. Okay, Mr. Rasco. Get back to Wake. Off when you are, Captain. <laughs> Off they go, I think. Ships detached. We're clear. I think they Do they disappear? Oh, maybe next time I come back or something. All right, what do we want to do next? Okay. Hmm. Let's go collect the mantis in the next video. Okay, that's the video. We'll see you in the next one. Tell him bye-bye.